Alrighty. It didn't start yet. It, takes, it says no, I gotta, fading it, on you. Here we go. Alright, we should be soon. Oh my god, it says we're live! Oh my god, I think we're yeah. live! We're live, yes! Welcome to the first Goose Alert! I'm so <laughs> Yes, we're talking about Thousand Pound Sisters today, which, guys, how do you like this room? The Narc Alert set all of this up for the record. I'm, this wasn't me. In fact, I, I made us late. <laughs> so, this is all the Narc Alert. I am so excited to talk about Thousand Pound Sisters, because... You, you think because I have an echo in every stream, I can't do some shit? I can do some shit. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> for real. And no echo. I don't, wait, or is there an echo? I don't know. I have my computer muted. I can, hope not. <laughs> can you guys give us a one if you can hear us both and there's no echo? Because I think yeah. we, I think there's no echo. <laughs> we look so good on YouTube. <laughs> uh -oh. So excited. Uh-oh. I'm seeing bad stream. Bad, bad stream health? Yeah. Well, I think we look great on YouTube, though. I think we should proceed. I get I get bad stream health all the time. So I think we, I'm seeing nothing but a sea of ones. So I think we should go ahead and proceed. Let's do it to it. I'm excited because Thousand Pound Sisters is like, first of all, you're going to you know, see, they wait, something's going to something's going to pop up in the uh, guys. This is a technical ridiculousness. OK, because I got Zoom <laughs> and I got OBS streaming and YouTube and now I got to open my document and it's going to show up in front of you until I move it. So bear with a few, oh, okay. bear with a few glitches, right? Like check this out. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Eh? Hang on. We're going to slide them over here. She's got documents. She's got, I can't <sighs> imagine. I'm so stressed. Out, all... you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a great document. Looks great. <laughs> 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 all right. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. Because I'm not watching live. So I don't have a friggin' clue what's going on. <laughs> I can I can see the chat live, but I can't see us live. So I yes, might... Ooh. Ms. Maggie is here. They said the collab I didn't know I needed. Well, we I needed this because like <laughs> thousand pound sisters, like they got their start on YouTube, you know, and then YouTube picked, you know, and then TLC picked them up. They have they've been on. This is the third season of this, it's and I just. I can't watch them on YouTube. On YouTube, I find them almost unwatchable. But I love, oh, yeah. love when you get in some good editing on TLC. That makes it awesome. Oh, I yeah, guess you're they, over here. <laughs> they, were, they were definitely boring. But on TLC, that's I wasn't really into them on YouTube either. But on TLC, they, like, I wonder if it's, I hope it's not fake. I don't know if it's fake, if it's just edited TLC fake magic, magic tricks. But, like, I love the show. You know, and, what, you know what I love is, even though they have fighting moments, is I love the connection between, you know, you clearly, the way they laugh together is so genuine, yeah. like, it's just yeah. so sweet. <laughs> love each other. They're, they can be mean, though. They are definitely, I mean, me and Mer are mean. We're straight <laughs> to each other. We're, we're meaner than I even show on Star Club. Trust me, there's a lot I edit out. In fact... <laughs> There was this scene in the last vlog. I edited it out, and I I was taking a video, and I sent it to her of me deleting something I said to her. <laughs> like we are so mean, but these girls are even meaner to each other. Like they're they, they get I don't know. They're kind of nasty. Like when I don't know. They do go like out. When they do go at it sometimes, don't they? Yeah, they're mean and. Uh, I mean, sometimes it seems like they're not really supportive of each other's weight loss, but I don't know. I think I think they are I th in their way. I think the whole family is. I mean, look, they all come together to help each other, you know, so. Yeah, but they unfortunately, they all also seem to come together and eat, you know, McDonald's. or <laughs> even, even in the, you know, I'm, I'm getting ahead of it. Okay, but look, at they, the, Justine they, doesn't know I did this, but look at this. Boom. Come, Let me see this. Come on. Come on. We got screen caps, guys. We got screen caps. We got screen caps? Yeah. I'm here for this. All right. This this just looks so good. I'm so excited. Guys, I'm sorry I'm, like, geeking out over how, like, 
good this looks. Ben, I'm like very <laughs> talking about anything. Rio is here. I have to say, Rio uh, just settled down. He's been yelling and screaming and been a complete going concern for the last twenty minutes. But he just hit it, the, he hit the couch now. So. Oh well, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a Narkler video without Rio. I hope he or, shows up. Or or Rio. without Simba or Rosie, right? <laughs> Um, well, Rosie our, is our co-host. Our co-host. <laughs> well, our co-hosts, they basically carry the show. I think people click here for Rosie or Rio content primarily. So <laughs> More and more for Rio all the time, but don't tell him because no. he, he thinks the vlog is his now. Well, I mean, maybe a little bit it is. He he's thinks, so He thinks it's his vlog now. I have what? to, he tells me what to shoot. <laughs> I did, I'm not supposed to tell you that, but. He directs them now, so. Oh, really? Did he? Does he? Did he design the studio? He did. Real? Well, he told me clean up the kitchen. Justine's coming over. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So that's a that's a great. Uh, can uh, I can I just interject that Charles said the Rio and Simba collab, the collab oh. I never knew we needed. <laughs> Well, I think Simba would just cause a fight. Oh, Simba would kick Rio's ass. Rio's a <laughs> Rio's a Rio's a pansy. Let's face it, he's a drag queen. Well, Simba, I think, kicked out Buster. I really think that's what happens when Buster comes around. They don't really. He said, "I think Simba likes being the only child." Hit the road, he's Jack. me. Simba's used to like. They're like the Amy and Tommy Army. of Cat World. <laughs> All right, Maybe so should should we start it off here? Yeah, I think so. so. I'm looking at... So, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to break it down scene by scene, and we're going to give you a little recap of the scene, and then we'll chat where needed, I guess. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah I have a lot to say. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so yeah. I'm going to start off and say it opens, scene one opens. We're in Dixon, Kentucky, which I'll have to Google now that I know I didn't know. Uh, so Amy's talking about how her life has changed since surgery. Gage is six months old, and... Uh, She's showing him her fat pictures and telling him about how she lost weight. But she's, <laughs> she then talks about how she's fed up with Tammy. But she, she makes a YouTube video. Now, this is interesting. I watched Zachary. I'll, sit, wait, I'll recap it first, and then I'll put in my point. Um, she makes a YouTube video to tell everybody how Tammy's going to rehab now uh, for weight loss and food addiction. And Tammy went to Amy and asked for help. But I just want to interject. I was watching Zachary Michael this morning, and he said, because he's deeper into this than I am, but he said, whenever the show TLC shows them doing a YouTube video, it's faked for the camera, and those YouTube videos are never really ever uploaded. So this, really? uh, apparently this video that T Amy made to tell everybody about Tammy going to rehab, never was uploaded. It doesn't exist. Right. That's, that's. I don't know. So, okay, so there is some TLC fakery with this show a little bit. I get it. Yeah. I, I hope Tammy actually went to rehab. But, well, I think, yeah, she went to rehab. <laughs> but I hope so. Like, was that fake? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you know what you I, mean? Was that, was that right. just part of the show, or did she actually go? Right. I don't know, because we got to say, well, look, I'm getting ahead of myself, because... We haven't even gotten to rehab yet because, okay, what happens next in scene two, the scene opens with Tammy. This was a hot mess. She was sitting in the living room with freaking oxygen because she got COVID. Like on top of everything oh else, she gets COVID. I couldn't believe it. So, I mean, she could barely breathe to begin with. Of course she would get COVID anyway. So... Yeah, she claims it brought her to her senses. Like, I'm going to take this serious now. Okay, I <laughs> want to go to rehab. Um, she, decided, she decided to make a change. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, in the beginning, like, it seems genuine in the beginning. Like, I'm ready to do this, guys. So, anyway, so, her brother... So being weighed on the truck part scale, that didn't instigate a change. But COVID, right. but COVID did. Okay, carry on. I, I mean... Was, wasn't she on oxygen anyway? <laughs> I don't mean to... I, that's an actual question. Was she on oxygen anyway? Well, if I she, don't remember. she'll probably never get off it at this point if she wasn't on Absolutely. it before, right? She's, anyway, so 
Her, okay, her brother Chris drove her to rehab, which was eight hours away. Eight hours. And so, the, so that like goes to shit. Like they cared. They wanted her to get help. That like they drove eight hours. Yeah. That's like so unbelievable. Um, let's see. She's afraid. Okay. Yeah. She was afraid of being so far away. I kind of don't know why, because I mean, if I can be, if I can be honest, it's not like, it's not like Tammy was hopping in the car to like help her family do stuff. Like, I'm afraid to, like she was going to go into a place where she'd be surrounded by doctors. Like, right. I don't know. Was she taking care of the baby? I don't, I don't think so. I, Amy was uh, very supportive of Tammy's choice, obviously. Um, but she was looking forward to Tammy leaving because Amy has a six-month-old baby. Right. Which, you know, my, my stepsister has an eight, had, you know, well, she's older now. But I, I know I'm familiar with six-month-old babies. <laughs> and they're, I love them, but they're useless. You have to do everything for them. They don't do like, a damn you, thing. They don't, they don't help with the cleaning. They do next no. to next to no cooking. They're not. They're not. Very, no. They're not handy. <laughs> they're actually. They're actually even more useless than cats. <laughs> cats. <laughs> they're just. And they're and they're more work than cats. You know, cats at least go to the bathroom on their own. You know, friggin' baby. Plus, babies go to the bathroom <laughs> constantly. Like they're always going to the bathroom. It's like, so, <laughs> poor Amy's had to deal with that and deal with her sister, who just. I don't know, won't stop eating burgers and date, dating feeders. Well, plus she might want to have a little quality time with her family now, too, right? Now she's right. got a family, a young family. Yeah. Oh my God, and I love her family. I love her husband. I love Gage. He's so, oh, Gage is her baby. Right. And so cute. And, oh, I love it. Anyway, so that's what happened there. Uh, <laughs> Charles Murphy's more helpful than children <laughs> they at least ermine out of the den it's true <laughs> it's true so <laughs> in the next scene hang on because i'm getting organized here i'm giving it away with the image so in the next scene chris comes to pick up tammy but he tells us in a testimonial how happy he is that he was approved for his his weight loss surgery now, so he's he's waiting to get yes. that. Um, but he's really upset because he's got to watch. He's watching Tammy try and walk to the car here, and it's like thirty steps, and and she can like she can't even make it with a walker anymore. So he's pretty upset about that. Um, then Tammy tells us that her relationship with Jerry, the feeder from season two, is over right but then in a little testimonial when she's sitting there with with amy she mentions she called him up a couple nights ago for a little booty call because she needed the sex did that did that actually happen like doesn't he live far away or was it just like phone i don't know i don't yeah we, they I, didn't, the show clarify sometimes I, that. sometimes when like amber or tammy talk about being sexual i just black out i can't help it oh i do too i, just I can't black. i just don't even want to hear about it i don't even want to think about it like i don't want to be i don't want to be gross but come on tammy i just i know I, i'd have to go watch feeder porn to understand how it works first of all <laughs> and i don't want to do that oh, like, so it's easier to just black it all out <laughs> I've, I've lived it. I've dated feeder. That's not somebody you want to date while you're on a diet. They will very actively not support that. So, I mean, in my experience, I've literally had experience with feeder. I'm, I used to be, you know, big in my 20s, you know. Right. I lived it. Um, they're not they're, they're not helpful on a weight loss journey, to say the least. I'll leave it at that. I guess not. I would guess not. And I, no, they won't even like, they won't even pretend to want to support it at all. They won't even, it's in my experience. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry. Side note. Well, then, I'm just saying. then there's this new one where to jump way ahead. Apparently there's a new guy coming and he was right. making tweets about if she goes under 299, he's out of there. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, that's literally like. But that's future, future. 
That's the next episode or two, I guess. Oh, we'll be covering that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, so then they're talking about the feeders, and that's it. Then they're on their way to the eight-hour drive to... Re I found this interesting, because on 600 Pound Life, when they go to Dr. Now's if they have to travel really far, that is a big part of the show, right? Because how hard it is. It is so... I found it interesting that they just whipped right over that. Like, they didn't cover the journey at all, and they seemed to make it in eight hours, like in one trip. Like, it didn't show them yeah. st staying overnight anywhere. How could she do that? Like, I just, I found that interesting, no? I, I thought that was interesting, too. I guess because he had the whole, um, the, like, she was laying basically on the floor of, like, this van thing. Like, she had all this huge space to roll around in i guess i don't know but there were no pillows i saw she must have been so uncomfortable oh it must have been horrible but they didn't even touch on that like and she's not one to keep her mouth shut when she's not happy <laughs> um, that's a you know i'm sure there must have been drama in that eight hours drama sorry <laughs> yeah they didn't cover it and i'm sure they stopped to eat too they always stop to eat on the way to Dr. Nouns, my right. 600 pounds. It's <laughs> so like, funny. It's like having that last shot of alcohol on the way into the... <laughs> 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 I'm going get, to go get real drunk before I go to rehab kind of mentality. Right? Yeah, I guess so. The whole last meal I philosophy. Get, I get it. Like, what's it going to hurt at that point, right? <laughs> One more meal. Point. I mean, Tammy's already 600-something pounds. I mean, what's it, what's another one? Push Another it. burger. Push Guess it's that. Pushing no. seven, for God's sakes. <laughs> All right, then we... Okay, so in the next scene, I the it must have been... I, I miss... to, like, ...to be laying on the floor of a van, or I think that was like a mini minivan. I'm, I'm not sure what that was, a truck. It looked like something with the seats taken out of the back, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, it was something like that, but it looks like she had a lot of space. But when they got there, I remember Tammy did not have an easy time getting out of that van. It seems like, it seems like she, like she was kind of uncomfortable, um, getting out of that van. If I remember correctly, that I don't know. Well, she's always uncomfortable. Yeah. She's always yeah. being, um, leaning on something. I don't know. <coughs> Excuse all right, me. Excuse uh, me. Uh, all right. Yeah, they arrive at the rehab, which looks very nice, by the way. It looks like such a nice. Looks like a house kind of setting, right? Yeah, it was like a like homey, I, cozy. <laughs> I want to stay there. It looks like vacation. They're making meals for you. Yeah, they're you're getting free like free gym all day, physical therapy. I don't know why wouldn't you want to stay anyway? So uh, Chris is worried about her being nasty with people because <laughs> to, um some other girls that we've covered, I guess uh, T also gets nasty when she doesn't get her way. <laughs> We've heard that before. <laughs> well, you know, they get hangry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they get hangry. I, I get it. I mean, I get hangry too. So actually, I do get moody when I'm hangry. I, I've been there. I've been there. I've, I've said some mean things, and it's like, oh, I'm sorry, I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> we all do it. Um, let's see. Uh, Chris was worried about her uh, not staying there. I wonder why. Really? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um yeah he gives he gave her a pep talk on the way in which um i guess i i don't know tammy just doesn't seem like it's like she takes like she takes it personally when you try to like give her a pep talk or you try to like right you try to like if you try to let her know in any shape or form that you can do this you are in charge of this this is your life you got this right it's like she personally like yeah, I know I got it. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's, it reminds She's, me of, remember there was a video of uh, Amber being insulted when people said, um, you have a pretty face? And she'd right. say, well, or you'd be more, you'd be beautiful if you lost weight, you know, that kind of thing. She'd, well, I know I'm beautiful. You're like, well, I know. okay. All right. So, I sorry to compliment you then. I apologize. <laughs> I watched a little bit of the, um, not to sidetrack too much, because right. it's on the chain. Uh, I was watching the show after this one, Heavy, 
And um, there, it's two friends, I think, trying to lose weight. And the one friend's the one friend. She's over four, and she's like four hundred and fifty pounds, right? Right. And she, well, why do I got? I look beautiful. No one's saying you're not beautiful. <laughs> We're, you know, you're like you're four hundred fifty pounds. You know, you might want to <laughs> take gonna, care of that. You're gonna make, make a, a per- you're gonna make a beautiful corpse. Fantastic. <laughs> I know. Like fine. Like, I'm not saying you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the next scene we see Tammy. I didn't get a picture. I I, I screwed up. Uh, Tammy, oh, that's all right. Tammy's in her room in the rehab, and she's apparently doing a YouTube video. Whether she it is it or not, that's what they're making it look like. And uh, she talks about how much she likes the nurses, and she really likes it there, but then quickly, quickly talks about how the food isn't very good, and the portions are too small. Like, they only give her one sandwich. And she would eat, <laughs> she would eat three or four, yeah. and they're only giving her one. I wonder why that is. Curious. One sandwich. I don't know. <laughs> Curious that they'd only give her one sandwich. Uh, and then she talks about the therapy. She they, we see some clips of her doing some physiotherapy, but she she kind of taps out early and says her knees are scraping and hurting, and but she tells us she's not giving up. She's just struggling a bit. So you can kind of. Yeah. You don't need the cat tarot <laughs> to see what's going to go down. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was kind of written on the wall the whole time I'm watching it. Which, by the way, when I was watching this earlier, my mom was there. And, you know, my mom was a nurse 35 years. And she's listening to Amy complaining about her knees hurting and stuff during physical therapy. And she's like, why, why didn't they give her ibuprofen before physical therapy? I always used to do that. Right, yeah. Like, patients have aren't used to moving like you want to like just to preemptively yeah but we don't know to... they, they might have and she's still just using that as an excuse to stop exercising that's a great point that's you a know? great point we don't know i think that... my, my mom's probably underestimating how whiny she is yeah, how and... manipulative these girls are right yeah they certainly they certainly can be i i don't know poor amy because no no well yeah poor amy i meant yeah. poor tame but also poor amy because this is just like to have to worry about this on top of every friggin' thing else. Like it's just Tammy is so like why wouldn't you want to work as hard as you I, and and in a I, in a place that's making it as easy as it possibly can be for you. Like it's still going to be right. work, but they're there to help you more than you could at home by yourself. Right. But, and they're going to help Yeah, but they, they don't let her order takeout there. That's the big problem. That's the bottom, right. bottom line for her. She needs her takeout, right? Yeah, that's, I mean, takeout is a, is hard for basically even the average person to quit. So it's like she, any, I don't know. It's like, I, in my opinion, the meals I saw her eating looked totally normal. I mean, I don't know about you, but when I eat sandwiches, I typically just have <laughs> one. <laughs> in fact, I, I had a sandwich while I was talking to you. Right. Yeah. It was, it was Yes, it was a it was a granola butter sandwich. <laughs> it was I don't know, I'm not eating four of them. I mean who eats four sandwiches? <laughs> like t- like you wonder like maybe your perception is a little off. Like, you know, maybe can you figure, okay, may I'm I'm six hundred pounds, maybe my perception of what's normal with food is a little off, you know, maybe you know, I should only it's hard to sandwich. tell because clearly she's got a whole bunch of issues. But watching this yes. makes me wonder if Tammy might be a narcissist. Mm-hmm. You know, she's got a lot of those behaviors, but it could be so many other things. I wouldn't say that, but you right, know, the, yeah. the whole throwing a tantrum when she doesn't get her way and the entitlement and like lacking responsibility. Like there's so many of those things, but like I said, she's got a whole bunch of shit going on. <laughs> so those things, yeah. can, those things can appear in a lot of disorders. Right. So. I, but I didn't even. She's kind of narky. She's a little narky, I think. It is pretty narky now that I think about it. Now, and maybe it's just maybe occurring to me on like the third watching now, and like thinking about it, and right? Stuff, right. Yeah, well, it's I, hard to tell because she just seems. Oh, uh, Anias in the uh, chat agrees. She does come off narcissistic. Yeah, I thought I, it started that, to click on me. Like, I kind of wasn't thinking of that for her because she just have clearly has so many other more pressing, bigger yeah. issues. 
but a lot, right. a lot of her behavior seems driven by the same kind of things that we call Amber, you know, showing traits Tammy, of NPD, <laughs> not Tammy a diagnosis. Kind of, like, never grew up, you know, but I guess that's what a narcissist is too, right? Because kids are like that, you know, right. they throw... Enti they exactly, get... entitled and, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I don't know. That's a, that's. A, I'm actually going to keep an eye out for that in future episodes. Like, does she continue to be narky? That's a good point. But Asilla Sli Slime in our chat says two sandwiches cut into four halves. <laughs> <laughs> Amber with her good. four half sandwiches. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not going to make fun of her. I had a cookie for breakfast and a cookie for lunch, so I'm not. I'm not going to say anything. I had oatmeal. Oh, you did? Yeah. I, know. I also had in between the cookies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, let's see. So where are we here? Where are we? Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's right. Okay. So, so go Amy I... then. Yeah. Amy then tells us she's gained weight since the baby, which I'm not. Su surprised to hear that. Did, doesn't that happen? It doesn't look like she gained weight. I don't know. If she gained weight, it must not have been much because she still, to me, looks like she lost mad weight. So, even her, I wonder how Even much her face looks thinner, you know? Her head looks oh smaller, God. you know? <laughs> she looks... Or maybe it's just she looks so small because next to Tammy. <laughs> that, it could be, yeah. We have an odd perspective every time we see her, right? Yeah. So I was surprised to hear her say no, but, she gained weight. No, but even when we saw her doing this class here that she does, yeah, she didn't look, like, gigantic. She just looked like a heavy girl, right? Yeah, she, I, I think, I thought, I just, the whole time I, I thought she looked great. But I thought, I thought it was so funny because she was, like, she felt uncomfortable with the moms there because it was, like, a mom workout class. And she felt like, she felt like they were fancy moms. I, I thought they... <laughs> That's what the screen cap says. Man, these are like some fancy people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it does say that. Yeah. No, they, they look totally normal. I don't know. They've got like hoodies and leggings. I don't know. That's like, <laughs> do I look fancy? Do I look fancy? You, well, you look fancy. Your curly hair is fancy. <laughs> I've been working on this all day for this stream, people, just so you know. Can you all day. This is a project all day. <laughs> Anyway, I thought I thought they seemed show, totally normal. Show, show a little love to Justine's hair. <laughs> I want like my hair. <laughs> Narcissist. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't start spiraling. <laughs> Don't start spiraling. Now I'm gonna have now, guys. I'm gonna have to talk to her for three hours tonight about how she's not a narcissist. <laughs> I don't want to spiral again, so we'll yeah. just go on with it. <laughs> oh well, well she says okay. So I guess she felt out of place because they were they were like thin, like these moms, like they were like thin, like they were like yeah, they, they were like average size slash thin, like on the thinner side of average, in my opinion. They they looked very oh you called it super mom types definitely, um, but she had fun. I liked it. Like she Did I say really. That? There. She didn't say a bad thing about it to her husband. They were after at, the no. They were all really kind and welcoming to her too, which was yeah. Nice. I really think she had fun. Although I think she's got to work on her lunge a little bit. I she kind of <laughs> didn't really know. Like they were doing lunges, and she's just like, I don't, I, I don't know what she was doing. She said walking. She said lunge. I thought they were saying lunch. <laughs> I know. Lunch. She's, she's funny. <laughs> God, she's and she was going so she was she's able to do these things because Tammy's still in rehab so she doesn't have to like take care of Tammy there, right. like because she takes up I imagine she takes up so much of her time I can't imagine even just her, I, even her mind when she's not doing it she's worried about her or thinking about it or right. what does she need like she should be thinking about right. her kid not her sister right Right, exactly, because her sister is 35, which um, I think is old enough to uh, at least make a meal for yourself. At, but at least contribute to your own care, a little. Somewhat, yeah. yeah. Like, at least <laughs> yourself, for Frank's sake. 
Uh, so, anyway. Okay, uh, so I guess the next scene, um, oh, it's just a short one. We go back to the rehab with Tammy, who's telling us it's been really rough on her. And she's showing us all the different exercises she's doing, like the one she seemed to really hate was standing up and sitting down and standing up and sitting down that she had a big issue with that it was hard on her knees but she she actually uh i kind of got our thing screwed up here a little bit so she but then she goes for her eight week weigh-in so we know she's been there like two months right yeah yeah two months yeah and she went from 689 to 631 so she was supposed to lose a hundred pounds and she lost, what is that, 58? Yeah, a little less than 60. Right. So, so she, and the rounded up to 60, which right. I was sitting there and I'm like, nope, nope, it's not 60 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to, I don't mean to, you know, look, if you want to round up, that's fine. But I'm just saying, I'm kind of lying about that a little bit. <laughs> and, a little bit. But she's still really proud of herself, right? And they asked her how she felt, and she said she felt like she could conquer the world. <laughs> so she's very empowered right now. Although, she didn't seem that happy, eh? When she stepped off the no. scale, it's like she wasn't happy. It was well, weird. Well, because she happy. She, have you noticed that? She literally, like, when, when she, I saw, the happiest I've ever seen her, ever, was last season, and what's his name showed up. She looks, she saw him pull up. I, I remember that scene and she like lit right up. Right, yeah. That's the best I've ever seen her. But other than that, like she just seems, no, she doesn't seem happy. Well, that would make sense to me. How can you be happy with that life? No, I wouldn't be, I would not. I'm sorry, I don't mean to, I'm not saying you can't be happy if you're, um, 600 something pounds but it's got to be you've got to be in pain like all the time i'm not surprised it hurt to sit down and stand up you're very Actually, you're very generous i would say it would be very difficult to be happy if you weighed 600 pounds because you have no life you have nothing well she obviously because she can't she she's got no because amy's got to take care of her life and she's so, so thirsty. Like, Tammy is so thirsty. She clearly needs to be... She wants to be loved so badly, right? That's weird. You know? Poor thing. The, the, the weird, and she talks about it, and it's uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than... Sorry. Well, I just want her to focus on herself. You know? Right. Don't worry about... Yeah. The, don't, the, D, the D will always be there. They're like a bus. <laughs> One's gone, another one comes by. There's always D for everybody. There's enough D for everybody. <laughs> there is, exactly. There, and there'll be D for her after she loses weight. There'll be D for her during weight loss. It like might, not, It might be not, more, more genuine D might come to her <laughs> instead of feed, right, more, feeders and stuff, right? I would love her no matter her weight. Right. So I don't know dating these. Like, does she want to lose weight or not? That's my question. I still don't know. Even after watching this episode. Like, those guys don't love her despite her size. Those guys love her because of her size. Yeah, and she doesn't get that. That's the difference, right? Not yet. She has to... She doesn't get it yet, but I hope that she does. I, I'm not sure how the season ends. I guess we will find out. So, in between there, before, before you go into what happens when Tammy talks to the head of the hospital... Uh, there's a quick little scene with Chris, and he goes to Amy's, and he's uh, he's surprised to see he lost some weight because he had some big... Uh, I, this is another scene that I kind of fogged out on because it was gross, but apparently he had some big boil near... Oh, yeah. Oh, his, gained weight. In his manhood area. And right. And because of that surgery, he had, gained, he had gained some weight, so he was very worried they might cut off his uh, weight loss surgery. Well, yeah, he gains like 40 pounds. 40 pounds, right. Which, by the way, I kind of didn't understand that whole thing. And this is really gross. I kind of don't want to stay on it either. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, real, but when but then they showed pictures, but oh. it looks like a hole. And I don't understand. Like, was that the hole after it was removed? They didn't really clarify. I didn't really know what else. It must have been. Like, maybe there was an abscess, and once they took it all out. Ugh. I don't know. Your mom's a nurse. Ask her. <laughs> yeah. 
she was not in the room during that scene. And if she were there, I would have paused and asked many questions because I asked, I actually asked her a lot of these questions because she was a, like a bariatric nurse and she took care of like, you oh. know, heavy people. She can answer all sorts of questions for me. Right. Yeah. And, That's a good resource to have. Yeah, she is. <laughs> She talks a lot about lymphedema. That's, you know, that's I rant about that a little bit because Amber is obviously not taking care of her as properly and blah, 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 because I talk to my mom. And she, right. <laughs> she yeah. knows about you know what, guys? I will ask. Um, not right now, but I will find out <laughs> what what the heck was that I was looking at. I don't want to look at it. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why, why he had it. Like, he kind of, like, he said he gained 40 pounds because he was um, bedridden a few weeks, but like that's, but how does it, like just because you're bedridden doesn't automatically mean you're gonna gain 40 pounds. I don't know. <laughs> I guess he but, thought it was a, a hall pass. <laughs> Cause uh, no, no, no passes. You're trying to get, you're trying to get weight loss surgery, dang it. Yeah. Yeah, That so that was a bit of a frustrating scene for me because it, you know what it is? It's because he's not being a good role model for Tammy, right. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Because really, like, it really helps if, like, the whole family is doing it, if you're trying to help somebody, you know? Of course. Like, you've got an alcoholic who's trying to stop drinking. It's not going to be helpful if, if, as a family, you're all getting together and having shots. Right. <laughs> yeah. while, while the recovering addict is also at the party. It doesn't make sense. Like, just... Right. I don't know. All right. So I think I'm going to move on, right? Yeah. To, um, let's see. Oh, yeah. So uh, the family, so what happened was Tammy met with an administrator, right? And um, she decided that she wanted to leave this place after eight weeks, which I don't know why. Um, she she said she wants a hamburger. That's why. Right. It was all about hamburgers. She was, well, she didn't. She was saying, oh, I miss home. Right. Why? <laughs> do you miss Amy doing everything for you? Like, what do you miss about? Like, that was so frustrating. Anyway, so the family gathered together at Amy's house because they were waiting for a phone call from Tammy because she wanted to tell the family something. So here comes Tammy keeping the friggin' family on pins and needles. She's just putting her family through so much stress. Like, yeah. it was so frustrating for me to watch this. All right, so Tammy calls and announces uh, to her brother, her sisters, that she wants to come home. Uh, they, I mean, obviously, they, they were not happy about it. Amy asked if the facility wanted her to stay, and Tammy responds with, yes. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I don't, like, why does she, like, and why did they... Like they when they showed that conversation between Tammy and the administrator, like I don't know, the administrator wasn't pushing hard enough. Like the the administrator should have been like, no, Tammy, no, you're gonna, but I, you're gonna eat. But I think cheeseburger. I heard something along the way where they were talking about the facility and how it was really your choice. Like it wasn't, right. you know, like it wasn't like a rehab. It was more like a you can check out anytime you want, you know. He wasn't you, there by court order. You don't even have to do the exercise that they want you to do. Like, you have a choice in everything that goes on there, which is probably why she didn't lose the full 100 pounds, right? Because even the administrator well, said, oh, she cheated a bit, right? How's, right, how, yeah. How does that happen in rehab? <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I guess they legally can't stop you from ordering cheeseburgers. What's with the obsession with cheeseburgers? <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, I just don't get it. <laughs> like, why? There's other food, like, I, I guess like if you grow up with that palate, I have no idea. All right, so um, let's see, sorry. All right, so Tammy's brother, Chris, yeah, he got very angry. I remember that, he got very angry. I love him, he's cool. Oh, I love, he's I love cool. him too. I, and, but at this point, like, what can you do? You can't force her. To... Actually, no, you can force her. Just don't pick her up. Well, that's what they said, right? Amy said as a right. joke, just don't pick her up and let her stew for two weeks. And I thought, exactly. What? She has no right. choice. But no, no. 
There's no way I would have driven eight hours to pick her up. I would have said, okay, you can hate me. I'll be there in a month. Click. <laughs> and then she gets mad and tells them they have to have more faith in her. Yeah. Based on... <laughs> Based on her amazing track record. There, there's a track There's a track record. We had to literally put you in rehab to lose weight. And even then, you only lost less than 60 pounds in two months. Yeah. She is... 130 pounds. She should have lost so much more weight. Yeah, that's supposed to be under supervision. That place is a joke. That's just a place to take people's money. Right. That's, yeah. You know, either do that's... it or don't fucking do it. But you don't take people's right. money and then let them do whatever they want anyway. I'm sure it's some kind of for-profit must be. place. Must be. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Then I don't think they really care i don't know well but remember the end of last season they said she was having a hard time finding a place and then she finally found right. this place and it's eight hours away so it must have been one of the only places that would take someone her size right right that's right what, that's what i figured why would you go eight hours away if you didn't have to side note very aside i wonder how close dixon is to amberlynn i'm just curious <laughs> yeah now i know they, when you know where they live they could collab and have their um weight loss journey together i don't know i'm just thinking i'm just like i'm just so disappointed that tammy left rehab i got um, like i'm so me too i mean come on <laughs> but then uh so then tammy uh so chris drives all the way there and picks her up with his wife they drive all the way back like god that's a nice brother man 16 hours driving in a day come on unbelievable unbelievable and then they bring her home, and even though everybody's pissed off at her for leaving, Amy went and bought balloons and decorated the house, all cute, like, welcome home. And they made kind of a fuss about her coming home. And she was like a bitch on wheels, first thing out of the car. <laughs> Although, she just went eight hours, this, you know, in a car. So, you know, I'm bitchy after eight hours of travel, too, and I'm not 630 pounds, so... But then they gave her a, a gift because she can't cook at home. And, you know, there was method to their madness. Amy still wants to have some of her freedom, right? So because she can't reach the stove because she's too big to reach the dials and stuff, they gave her a little hot plate and they gave her a table so she could put this tabletop hot plate on this table and she could be able to cook for herself. So Very thoughtful. It was a great gift. Very I was thoughtful. So... And like, it was a great yeah, and her response was to say um, that was a that's a weird gift. Like she wasn't right. happy about it at all. She was so ungrateful, <laughs> you know. She was. It was actually. Oh my god, how narky is that? Now that I think about it, it was such a thoughtful gift. Yeah. For the right, I would love that. For I would love that because then I could sit and cook. That sounds like right. Yeah. That's great gift i would love that i mean come on tammy what the f's the matter with you like that i think she sees and hears everything as an insult that she's fat you know like that well, she is i know she's... but <laughs> <laughs> like we're, they're trying to help her live like what's it's not nothing personal i'm not trying to offend you but like you're you know you gotta don't you want to lose some weight no. i i don't get i just want to play with your nephew to like I, Anyway, so that that would have helped so much, that gift. Yeah. I'm so mad about that. <laughs> I, I, that. And the table looks nice, too. That looks yeah, like a nice table. Yeah, it was ta a nice table. I liked that. That was, that was expensive, is what I'm getting at. Like, that was a great gift. Right. What the F is I mean, I'm so pissed about that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right. She tells Amy, return to sender. Right, right. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Do you like your gift? Return to sender. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, still, like, that was that was <laughs> that so, was that was. So go to the YouTube video part. The YouTube video part. Yeah. yeah I, I, well, for well, wait, wait. First, I also want to say that okay. So Chris tells her they're not taking any more BS, and there's going to be rules, and she's insulted by the rules. Right. What, they, her break because she's lost 59 pounds are you kidding me <laughs> someone calculate the percentage 59 pounds out of 600 what 60 like that's like nothing 
that she should have anyway i i'm mad <laughs> okay. this scene got me really heated okay the the next one guys when i saw this i was like i was i wouldn't say i'm yelling at the screen but i was in my head what was you get the, what i'm what was the video part video because as somebody that makes youtube video, like i yeah as if that's so important you can't stop <laughs> right like <laughs> edit like you and if you don't want to bother to edit like okay let me just explain yeah. all right so this <laughs> getting out of open back at his house with amy busy doing housework because she's got a six-month-old baby right you know <laughs> she's taking care of the baby and um she tells the camera she no longer has any freedom because she has to take care of uh tammy i guess you meant yeah she has to take care of tammy now because tammy lives right next door if you guys haven't seen this she lives right next door so i guess tammy's automatically amy's responsibility um amy isn't doing um or i think okay tammy isn't doing any of her own cooking or cleaning why she had that beautiful gift given to her like <laughs> I, I can't. I would do so much cooking on one of those things. Anyway. She doesn't need to cook. She's ordering in hamburgers. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, so she she's not taking care of her medications oh. either. Can I hang Which, on? Just hang on a second. I see some interesting yeah. all that glitters chat in our chat, and I'm wondering if there's baby news. <gasps> Tomorrow at 6.30 in the morning! Congratulations, all that glitters. This is your... This is your, your yes. last live stream as a non mum. <laughs> oh, give give the baby so many kisses from Justine. I don't want to I don't want to say Auntie Justine. That's ridiculous. But I, I'm so excited for you. Congratulations, all that glitters. Give I'm him, sorry. I'm a big smudge from everybody. And, <laughs> I, and I just want to say hi to Blessed because she's one of my ride or dies. Blessed, I hope oh. you're feeling better. Welcome, blessed with the perfect. Aww, blessed I, with. The, I love that. I don't mean to ignore. I know everybody's here. All the cool kids are here because they I know. know. I feel like I'm not chatting with you guys too much. I'm sorry. You know what? I'm just so excited about the show. <laughs> it's it's hard to keep. We'll get better with the chat next time. Anyway, I think. Yeah, I'm still used to this format, but next time. I'll involve the chat a little bit more. We're trying not. Like we're trying not to have too much dead air for you guys and nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> okay, so all right. She uh, is not even taking care of her medications, which you that uh, guys. It just grinds my gears. It just grinds my gears because this is basic stuff, and like these days with COVID, like it's so easy to take take care of this stuff just over the phone which i love because right. i hate going places like i hate it like anything i can settle with a phone call or like just online you know and they make it so easy now with like telehealth and stuff right um okay so amy amy is left amy is sorting out trying to figure out tammy's prescriptions because tammy's just flat not doing it so while Amy's like running around doing this, making calls, blah, 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 Tammy is outside with her niece making a YouTube video. <laughs> Which is fun. I love, I love recording with my niece. I get it. But why, like, you, I mean, you're gonna, like, you gotta, like, take care of basic things before you make a video. I don't know. Like, why are you making Amy do all this? <laughs> Just drives me. Here's, here's a basic thing we'd like to take care of. Christopher just sent us. It's not. It's his. Every month they get one free super chat, right? If you're a member, which is nice. Ooh. So this is his super chat. He says, "You guys are such a power duo." Yes. Love this concept. Chris is the best. He runs our Discord, by the way. Which, by the way, do you have an invite link in the description? No. Oh. <laughs> do I have okay. to do everything? <laughs> yeah, you've. Link. I'll put it's, I'll put one in after the stream for sure. Yeah, it's there. Discord link. I see it. Yeah, so it's there. yeah, we wouldn't we would be, we would be nothing without Chris on Discord for Chris, sure. Chris did 
with the Discord. Like he, well, Chris and Merck did a lot. So I didn't do anyway. any, I, I, I briefly said, hey, Discord might be interesting. And then like in six minutes, I was like sent a link to a fully sent up <laughs> Discord. It's like, okay, how did you do that? <laughs> the generous individual. He hooked us up. <laughs> All right, so Dan, okay. okay, so he's making a video with her niece outside. Um, Where they're burning Jerry's belongings, by the way. That that was amazing. That that video is that an actual video that exists? Because I would love that. That's a great. It's a cool video. I love the concept. However, why don't you fill your prescriptions first? Anyway, <laughs> so Amy comes to the porch and yells to Amy that she needs to she needs to be on the phone with telehealth right now about her prescriptions. And the reason why is. They're like asking questions about her medical history, which Amy doesn't know. Right, okay. But like friggin' like Tammy, like she needed Tammy to like Amy couldn't do it for her. <laughs> so Tammy blows up and gets angry. Um for I, I love the way because Tammy's so physically limited, she can't express herself, right, physically very much. So she just growls like a bull or something. Like she just sits there and goes, Roar! like she just <laughs> Whenever she gets really mad, she goes, like she can't, because she can't, you know, like that's all she can do. <laughs> it's so funny. It was amazing. Like, oh my God. She's like, she's unbelievable. I just wish. Like you can see the like, steam coming out her nostrils almost, you know. You could go by, just edit, just edit, like you could just. Just hit pause and go take care pause. of your medication. <laughs> Like, just hit pause. She's not like, live what? streaming. She's making a video. <laughs> That's, I, 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 I really don't get it. No. I was, like, that really confused me and angered me, that whole scene, because Amy's doing so much for Tammy at this point. Like, yeah. she's making, but, like, she couldn't do that part. She needed Tammy to get on the phone and answer some basic questions. Pause the video and answer the questions. You can sit your... Like, maybe she just didn't want to get up. I don't know what the problem was. No. Because, anyway. Um, then, okay. <laughs> All right, so then um, it pretty much goes to the last scene then, right? After that? Yeah. I mean, yeah. after that, after that, Amy, okay, so Amy overhears her This scream. picture, like, I'm sorry. TLC is cruel, man. Like, look at this friggin' camera angle. You'll see it in a minute, I guess. Yeah, that is a cruel angle. Like, come on. Amy looked, uh, Amy looked so tiny in that shot. But, it, you know, yeah. that angle... And I know she is, but that angle doesn't do her any favors. That's like a 600-pound life angle. Yeah. You know, camera... Yeah, but they, they record it, like, from lower with the yeah, camera pointing. Yeah, it's like, they tell... Put the camera between your knees. <laughs> it's so terrible. And so and look yeah and Amy looks so tiny but she's short and like 260 pounds so she's a lot smaller than she was like half the size but she's still yeah she's not small and look how small she looks next to Tammy it's unbelievable well, look at even her arms you know that doesn't look bad was, yeah you know yeah she's got like no I don't so, know I, so I think... in this scene though I think Tammy was Tammy was kind of trying to joke around with Amy but I think Amy is just over it. Like, that's not even okay. funny anymore. So Tammy was calling her stupid or an idiot, I forget, but some, some insulting word. And Amy says to her, don't say that again. Don't say that to me one more time. And then, and then I'm sure Tammy was joking, right? When she, cause she had a grin on her face. Don't be an idiot then, you know? And that's when we see this picture here where Amy gets up, that's it. She says, I'm done. And she storms off. I feel like she is fed up. You know, she's fed up. She's fed up because Tammy's not advocating for herself. She's not helping herself. She laughs at the present that well, they got her. And you know, you that's know? that's pretty narky too. That has very shades of familiar feeling when you do a lot for yeah. somebody and then they call you names. I I mean, right. come on, <laughs> come on. Yeah. That that I don't know. Tammy really got to me in this. In this episode, I'm trying to laugh and stuff because they're like a funny dude, but like, I I don't know. Like, is is this is this Tammy showing true colors? I don't know. Like, that I mean, 
Or is this like DLC nonsense? Yeah, it's hard to tell, really. I mean, you know, like when I first started uh, reacting, I forget who I was. I was doing some reaction, and somebody said, "Oh, she's so old. <laughs> she doesn't understand the internet, and that person is trolling, and she's reacting to them." And so I right. said, "I said, yes, I am very old, but I do <laughs> do know what trolling is, and I understand that there is." controversy about this person is it trolling or not but if they're going to present it to me as if it's the truth then i'm going to react to it in that frame mm -hmm. it doesn't right. mean, it doesn't mean i believe it but if you're going to present it to me that way that's how i'm going to react to it so i think we have to for the sake of consistency assume that it's not <laughs> faked for the sake yeah. of, for the sake of entertainment reaction right yeah i i mean yeah, that's I, that's how I kind of want to read. I mean, Anaya, Aria, Aeneas says, Tammy, I, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm, we I'm are not, about to read. Anaya's, Anaya's says, Tammy is the narcissist and Amy is the enabling codependent. I think yeah. I think you're right there. And yeah. The, yes, <laughs> Carrie says advanced age. Yes, I forgot. I'm of advanced age. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ms. Matt. Uh, Tammy called Amy stupid. Stupid. Three times row. Okay, that's a little much. That that's a little much. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was stupid or idiot, but I knew it wasn't. It wasn't lovely. <laughs> anyway, whatever it was, it wasn't nice. I heard, I just hope Amy keeps succeeding, like despite Tammy. Like I hope Tammy doesn't bring her down because Amy is doing so good. She looks great. She still has a goal. She wants to get to 150 pounds. I mean, that's a lofty goal, but in we'll one see of, if it But in one of the clips for the upcoming season at the end of this episode, it showed uh, Amy and Michael buying a new house. So that's going to be yeah. that's going to be dramatic when they actually move out of that duplex so they're not physically beside Tammy anymore, right? I remember um, they were shopping for a different house last season. Right. And so and I was watching I, I was surprised I was like oh they're still there Maybe it's hard to find a hard to find a house these days uh, uh, Jenna said there's zero endearing qualities in what is shown of Tammy I mean it's true I mean if you take the show at face value they don't they they really don't seem to paint Tammy in a good light and um, no. I can only think that it's just the show but I mean, I, but to be honest, I can't imagine like a person that's like 600 something pounds. I imagine that they're probably just not happy most of the time. I imagine and moody and wanting to eat a lot. That's just what I imagine. How could you be happy? I mean, it's just so limiting. You know, you can't do anything you right. want to do. Like even Amber talks about she can't travel. She wants to travel. Right. Even though her concept of travel and my concept of travel are very different. <laughs> Like your dream bucket list travel, right? Is two states away. Well, <laughs> or, uh, oh my god! I can't wait to travel the world and go to Arkansas. Uh, <laughs> she dreams of Bora Bora. That's oh that's right, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants to go to Bora Bora. I you mean, know, maybe to get around maybe. Bora Bora, you probably got to go in one of those little puddle jumpers that I take around Costa Rica. I don't think she could do that. A little eight-seater plane. Come on, what's she gonna do in Bora Bora? Lie on the beach? It's a kind of place where you—it's an adventurey, water, jungly. You know, like you do. It's an active yeah. place, right? Oh, anyway, Bora Bora. Know, well, it's so stupid, Bora Bora. That's so stupid. It's just an overpriced. You know, like there's so many other places she could go that are just as beautiful, for way less money. She just got impressed by Bora Bora, some somewhere. Probably. Along. Kardashians. She's like, oh, I want to be like, I want to be like Kim Kardashian and go to Bora Bora. Oh, do they go there? I think so. Or a Kardashian or somebody in that vein. I don't know. Seriously. Those, those... Go, look at, <laughs> go look up Boca del Toros in Panama. It looks the same, but it costs one hundredth of the price of Bora Bora. But I digress. <laughs> this Okay, so you guys, you guys, I'm reading the chat. Yeah. You guys do not like 
You guys are not impressed with Tammy at all. All right, so. Oh, uh, Tammy is so jealous of Amy. Uh, Annie has said that. You guys are, Annie is, you're coming through with the comments. Yes, I, it does, seem, like, she seems, like, jealous, but Probably it's not Ani jealous. An Anias, I think. Anias, okay, thank you. I think, uh, I, I think. She uh, d definitely seems jealous. Spin Kuma uh, says, go to Greece. Beautiful beaches. Cheap AF. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, I never been to Greece. I'm worse than Amberlynn. I haven't. I haven't traveled too much. But being, I think you know, given your ability, you have a yeah a more solid a, reason, right? Yeah, which is so. That's what I mean. That's what like I get kind of annoyed watching these people. Maybe I shouldn't react because then I get mad. But I get <laughs> kind of annoyed watching these people because the only thing holding them back is themselves. Right. But they keep people, and it's so. So frustrating because well, I, mean, you had... I, I get that food addiction is an addiction, and I get that there's binge eating disorder, which I don't believe Amberlynn has because how could she just cure it herself in four weeks? But that's another, right. that's another point. So right. I, I believe those things are hard, and food addiction must be a nightmare because it's not like smoking. You can't just not eat, right? You gotta eat. Right. So I you get that. Eat. But if you know that that's your issue, then go get the issue treated. <laughs> Right. Go to therapy. <laughs> she'll go to therapy, but then she'll leave. Well, and they're not honest and genuine when they're there, so it's a waste of a therapy anyway, right? I would guess. Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm guessing. In my opinion, only not a diagnosis. <laughs> <laughs> the, the first, maybe the last said, Tammy just looks mad all the time. That's <laughs> true. She looks so much She said it herself in the episode that she has, this is her words, not mine. She said that she has resting bitch face yeah. all the time. Yeah. Which, at, at least she acknowledges it because she definitely, and then definitely she, And then she giggled about it like it was cute, just like a narcissist would do. Like oh, a, boy. Are like, we diagnosed? Like a little like, whoopsie. It was a whoopsie, you know? Right. Oh, yeah. He, I have resting bitch face. <laughs> Like, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's not cute when we're the ones on the other side of the face. <laughs> Especially not cute when you're making other people take care of you. Spiny, Make uh, shiny sparkle just said Greek yogurt dip is great. And now I want Greek yogurt dip. Mm. I, I didn't really eat lunch yet. So I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. I just had, I just had that cookie. Actually it was half a cookie. That's <laughs> not it's not a lunch. <laughs> I gotta like, I gotta eat something. So, did you guys enjoy our little stream? Do we like? Yeah, I think. Do, do we? Do we? Should we do it again? We want to do it again. We should. We we'll, might. Want... We might do it again, even if you guys don't even show up. We'll just sit in an empty chat right. room. <laughs> well, we'll probably discuss, discuss it amongst ourselves anyway. <laughs> Great episode. I enjoyed it, except I didn't enjoy. Tammy's behavior that I'm hoping they're portraying her in this light because she's going to improve later because everybody loves a redemption story. Right. They could be building a nice redemption arc for her, let's hope. I friggin' love a redemption story. Oh, Ms. Magby loved it! Yes! And oh, good! Carrie said it was I lovely, which I like because I, I say lovely all the time. I was thinking, I, I was gonna say, oh, there's a whole flock of lurts here. <laughs> It's like a gaggle. It's like a gaggle of lurts. <laughs> oh, Christopher! Christopher thinks that we should make it a series. I think so, guys. This was a great show, but I gotta say, like the this this was all this was all Merc. This was all the Narc Alert for setting this up. This was she did a great job. So I don't know. I had a lot of fun. Thank you for inviting me. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. Easy peasy. This is so much fun. And I love, I love, you know, I hope you appreciated that I renovated my kitchen for this. I, f I flew Justine up to Canada just for the, yeah. just for the afternoon. Yep. So I'm hoping I can write that off on my taxes. So it should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you yeah. know, Mr. Man's yeah. sleeping, so he's probably not going to make an appearance. Maybe next, Aww. maybe next time. Mr. Yes. Rio's. Things. Yes, a series would be fun, and I think Thursdays work good. Or yeah, work, this is great. This work, is the perfect. They work well. 
pardon me. Yeah, yeah, they work perfect. And I have a, I have an upload later tonight, which I am fully expecting will get claimed or uh, demonetized <laughs> immediately after I upload it because everything I upload does. So I'm hoping it'll be up tonight, but it might not be up till tomorrow. But I'll have it up tonight, just so y'all know. <laughs> All right. I look for. I can't wait. I, I, I are you? Why you are you live? Demonetized. Are you live tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah, probably around one. I think I'm gonna go live tomorrow. Okay. So Maybe you, earlier. So you're, you're live at one, and I'm having a premiere at night, and then Saturday I have a live. We're just gonna keep you guys are just gonna. We have to keep you guys busy every single day now. <laughs> I know. I love love that. I enjoy going. I love going, going live. It's so much more fun than making videos. Videos you gotta like. Well, you know, you make videos. So I, like, I will say, edit, though, I'm doing, I'm doing this uh, David E. Taylor, the pastor, the minister. Who, oh, if you Google him or if you g put his name in YouTube, there's a ton of stuff that comes up about this evil pastor and his deposition from four years ago. So that's the narc that I'm doing for tonight. And I got to say, I'm kind of enjoying it. It's kind of delicious. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, it's a dark. It's not amber for once. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Sometimes it's fun, but sometimes it's like pulling teeth. But this one's fun, so that's good. Jarella, Ooh, you got thank you for the super chat, Jarella. We really appreciate that. Uh, Kicking geese and I will be. This is our stream, even though it's on my channel. So. Yeah, yeah. The goose alert. That's the that's the name of it. So okay, you can expect us. I guess next Thursday next we're going to talk about fun. I'm so excited for the next one. I, what is it? It's on Mondays, right? I can't wait. It is. I love this. And you know what's fun is I watched, like I said, I watched Zachary Michael did one uh, a, a reaction to the show, and I watched it this morning, and he hits on completely different points than we do for the most point. So it's nice. Oh, yeah. We're not stepping on anybody each other's toes. You guys can watch Zach's and watch ours and get different viewpoints. I see that... Uh, I see we might be lagging a bit here on the studio. But... Oh no. We'll just yeah. ignore it because we're probably almost done anyway, right? Yeah. All right. Well, should we wrap it up? Let's Considering wrap... we're like buffering what? and stuff. Huh? Yeah. We're bu Oh, it's time to. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm pausing. It looks like I'm taking a long time to drink that coffee. Oh, it just ended on us. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, are you sure? Mine, mine is still showing us, but yeah, we'll but pause. I'm, I'm way ahead of you. Oh, it, no, wait, right. it says but, it says live. 